In this video, we're going to be showing you how to stop the shotgun runs in Madden 23. We're going to update our run defense out of the Big Nickel Over G for you guys. We did a video previously, and kind of as the game goes on, we always find new and better ways to shoot the run. And we're going to show you a really simple defense here today that I really like if they're using any kind of shotgun run. Because the beauty of this defense is it is the most versatile defense in the game. The Big Nickel Over G, if you don't know, I believe this is the best defense in the game right now. There's a couple of other defenses that are also really good but this one right here I think has the most flexibility and versatility to be able to combat whatever the offense is going to throw your way if you want to learn my entire big nickel over G defensive ebook make sure that you're in the patreon it's only 10 bucks to sign up for that and it gets you access to all and I mean all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks we've got a bunch ebook out a trips ebook out we also have a big nickel ebook we got a dime two three six mini guide out and then we're also have a blitzing ebook where we teach you the ins and outs of how to blitz out of every formation in the game so that you can kind of run whatever you want um, based off of the coverage principles that we teach you in the big nickel over g ebook oh did by by the way i also didn't mention we have a match ebook out as well where we teach you the ins and outs of how to run match coverage how to blitz out of match coverage when and why to use certain coverages so you can get all that stuff over at the patreon and we got a lot more on the way for you guys um, and again our members get access to everything so let's just get into the video here and i just want to show this um this gap shoot out of big nickel and i want to show you why it's so good against every shotgun run in the game so you could do this out of any play in big nickel over g any play in big nickel over g you can do this out of today we're going to show it out of um the play cover one hole okay you can do it out of any play uh, but cover on hole is super easy. We know man coverage is really, really good. You have a free safety up here that you could do some stuff with if you wanted to. Um, you know, but basically we're going to do it like this. We're going to pinch our defensive line. We are going to crash our defensive line outside. And then I like to blitz my user. And I think this is a very underrated tip. When you blitz your user in Madden 23, I personally have noticed that you're going to be able to stop the run a lot better. If you don't blitz your user, I think the offensive line actually tends to pick you up more, which kind of seems like kind of it should be the other way around, but this is just what I've noticed. So we're going to stand about right here, and what you'll see is we will shoot right in and stop the run, just like that. So I moved him like a little bit. I didn't move him a ton. And you don't have to bring the safety down if you don't want to. You just basically want your user to blitz into that little gap right there. If he's blitzing over here, for example, it might not work as well. So ideally, he's going to be blitzing right into this little gap. I like to crash my line out from the defensive line. So it's going to open up this little A gap. Here's base. As you can see, we're blowing up base for negative four yards base is one of the best runs every single year and you see that we're able to stop this power style run as well with the same exact defense that we stopped the inside zone as you see that shoot now if the shoot for whatever reason if you screw up the shoot and your user's not able to stop it you have another linebacker on that side that is going to be able to assist you in stopping this run so you know really simple little gap shoot right here and again i think the key to this is blitzing my user you'll notice i'm going to put my user in a zone here and when i do that it, it you see how i kind of get sucked into the lineman and again this i've just noticed this is just something you know you could take it or leave it but it's just something that i've noticed about run defense i recommend blitzing your user this also helps with your passing defense and your i mean it helps you all around the board in this year's game in my opinion so you should almost always be blitzing your user last run that we're going to show you is the counter run the counter run is the least effective. This is why out of cover one hole or any really any defense, I like to show blitz to have this safety down here um, to kind of help with the counter. But basically what you're going to see is we're still going to be able to block or uh, lock this up for about negative five yards. So this is just the gap shoot defense. Now we literally can blitz out. I mean, we can blitz the crib out of this as well. The beauty of the big nickel over G is its ability to adapt to whatever the whatever the offense is going to do. So let's say we want to send a pressure. We can send a five man pressure on the right side, and then we can also have great run defense. And you see how this can just absolutely bag this run. There's really nowhere for them to go to be able to run the ball. Now I want to show you that this also applies or cross applies to other formations in the game. So we're going to come out in the U-trips and we're going to show you a couple of runs out of the U-trips formation. So what we're going to do again is come out and cover one hole. We're going to show blitz 
And then what you want to do is pinch your line, crash your line out, and you're going to blitz this guy right here. And what you'll notice with this is it's the same basic principle. As you see right there, we're able to run right down. You want to use her, the linebacker that is on the running back side. You want to kind of hide right behind this defensive tackle, and then you're going to shoot in just like so. Now, I will say that U-Trips, um, kind of this halfback power has some unique blocking every now and then you can mess up this shoot um, and really what I have noticed is I kind of honestly want to be a little bit more back than I wanted to be in previous years so you see here a little bit more back and that time we're able to kind of blow this run up and uh, that is how you stop the run literally you can do this out of anything I'll show you how to stop gun tight in just a second um, but you see I mean just super simple now uh, shotgun tight does have a little bit of a different run that um, we need to talk about and, and again I don't have the run in this playbook but I want to just kind of show it let me see if I can just go to doubles flex uh, to try to show it but basically it's a two by two style of formation where they have this little 01 trap they used to have an 01 trap in New England uh, but I think they got rid of this uh, this play so we'll just do it out of uh, gun doubles uh, if I can find a good doubles flex here we'll just do it out of doubles flex and um really the simple i mean it's really not hard it's basically it's very similar to stopping the counter run from trips tight in like literally it's almost the exact same so again we're gonna sh we're going to user the running back side linebacker we're gonna pinch our line and crash our line out and what you'll see is if we were if we were running this, um, you see here, this little gap's going to open up, and we're going to just shoot right in. Now, if they were running that counter from trip side in, which I'll go back to that in just a second, I'll show you we can also stop inside zone. But we're doing this, and we're able to stop the shotgun runs. And this is why it's so valuable. You see here again, just kind of shooting right in. And again, I really believe that blitzing your user plays a pivotal part in this tip. So please make sure that you're blitzing your user. Also, if you want to learn everything about the Big Nickel Over G, make sure you're in the Patreon. Link is in the description. But I want to show you this one last thing about the counter run. So this is going to kind of imitate if you will um, this is going to kind of imitate the 01 trap because the guard on the left side is who pulls and what you'll see here is you're going to shoot in and you're just going to kind of dodge him and then be able to make the tackle. And that's basically how you're going to shoot 0-1 trap as well. They pretty typically won't pick you up, even though they kind of should. They, if As long as you do something like that, um, you're going to be fine against 0-1 trap. I haven't had any issues. This is honestly one of the many reasons why Big Nickel over G is the best defense in Madden 20 um, or in Madden 20 three because it can stop every run it can literally bag every run like you don't have a run threat and in this year's game if you don't have if you don't have a run threat then it is really really difficult to pass uh in my opinion so you see here the one thing hopefully the ea will be patching this soon is the safeties flip but we teach you how to kind of get around that in the ebook if you're ever getting picked up like that you see that i'm kind of consistently getting uh picked up by this guard you want to try to kind of wait kind of like slow walk it and then you see now you have a lot of help from your friends to be able to come in and bag this up but really really great run defense it's the best shotgun run defense in my opinion in the game it's also the best defense in the game and if you want to learn how to run everything in this formation all of the blitzes all the match coverages all of the different unique zone coverages that you can create from big nickel over g as well as some of the really cool alignment things that only exist in this formation make sure you're in our patreon it's only ten dollars to sign up get you access to absolutely everything you can sign up by clicking the link down in the description so if you want to sign up, head on down to the description of the video and click the link down below and hopefully we'll be able to see you guys over at the Patreon page.